Right, we are back with some more Spyro the Dragon. We are here in the second world called Peacekeepers. And straight off the bat, we can rescue Titan. Welcome to Peacekeepers, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. We cover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Game suddenly makes a point of making sure you collect everything, doesn't it? As a kid, never used to really care that much. I just kind of collect what I need to complete the game. But uh, as I've got older, my OCD's got worse. And now, I only play Spyro if I'm 100%ing. If I don't 100% something, it really bugs me. I think before we head off into any of the portals, we're actually just going to make sure we get the home world 100%ed. Just so I don't end up forgetting anything. I know with the Artisan's World, I just kind of did it as I went round. I probably should do that again. Slightly quicker. Oops, I missed all the guys. So they've all gone hiding into tents. And are very rude about it. That had to hurt. Okay. That's them taken care of. Now, Peacekeeper's World is a little more... It's a little bit longer. It's a few more worlds. Obviously, it's a little bit tougher. But, you know, as you progress through the game, you should really come to expect that. Oh, dragon. Let's rescue Magnus. Hi, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Don't worry, we're looking after Sparks. Just wish he'd pick up more gems, though. I believe there's actually also a dragon egg, dragon egg on this world. We're also going to use this cannon. You see there's a couple of uh, strong chests here, they're not ones with keys. You can just blow them up. We also need this cannon to blow up that piece of uh, rock. The target painted on it, just so we can progress. Didn't think I was going to make that jump then. There we go. Just collect these. Try and not enter that portal. Head up here. Here we go. Put these few gems. We head on over here. You see there's a dragon and a thief. Who didn't even try running. He just accepted his death. Fair enough. And a key. Now let's rescue Gunnar. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure! There you go. We can do that. Right, so obviously we've got a key. And no chest. But, you head up here. Float on over to this uh, little doorway. Lots of gems. And the chest we need. Hopefully with the last few gems. Absolutely not. Um, Alright, what am I missing? Oh, I think I know what I missed. It's back near that other dragon. There's a little bit of a path down here with a bunch of gems. And that should be 100, yes. Well, 200. 100%, but 200 gems and 3 dragons and an egg. Right, so that is the home world completed. So, the first level we're going to head over to is right over here. We are going to Dry Can- Did I just bunt off a portal? Yes, we're going to Dry Canyon. How the hell do you bunt off a bloody portal?
Oh, shield, forgot. Okay, I went straight through you. There we go. Pick up the gem. Ow. Oh no, I managed to get him before he hit me. Oops. And I missed the gem. God damn it, Sparks. Pick up the bloody gems, will you? I missed. Gotcha. There we go. Another dragon egg collected. Take out these few guys. And we're good to carry on. I see ya. Right. Now we've rescued Conan. Thank you for releasing me. Oi. Another boring one. Take you out of the way. Jump back over here. And climb up here. Should be able to fly on over here. Go a different route. There's a lot of things with these levels. There's actually quite a few routes to take. I think the later games were a little bit more linear, but they made up for that by introducing mini games to collect all the other stuff. But with these ones, there's actually just quite a few different paths that you need to take. Sparks, pick up the gems. Whoop. See, this is where my camera mode is going to mess me. No, okay, so it would just jump up there later. Now we will rescue Ivor. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke, we've known. Uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. Oh dear. You've known that I was awesome since I was a wee puff of smoke. That's what it is. Because I am Spyro the Dragon. Try and be careful. Not to fall off. I really love these enemies that just swing the bloody bird around. They absolutely do not care. They're just going to grab the bird by its legs and swing it around. I missed. Not quite sure why Sparks didn't want to pick up that gem. Sparks is a very funny bugger. Right, let's jump over here and get this since I couldn't get it the other way. And quickly jump back up that way. There we go. How did that miss? Flame that whilst we nip down here and get these. And we can jump on over here. I should have gone the other way first. I'm going to have to come back here. I don't have the key. That was a bit of a mistake. So we're going to have to come back this way. So for now we'll just have to carry on. Oh, you little shit. There's the home portal. Oh god, don't jump into it. I'm not done yet. Right. Let's quickly jump back down here to the start. Let's let you eat some butterflies. There we go. So, what was the best way we could go to go get that gem? Take these guys out for start. Oh, 
Alright, and now we're back here at the end of the level. Alright, I think we rescue you, Boris. Nice name. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> Surprisingly, that is actually a hint as to what we've got to do next. If we go up here, you'll see there's another path over here that we have to glide to. And there's actually another glide thing that we've got to pull off. It's actually um not a very apparent one. I remember the first time I <laughs> would fall off. First time I tried 100% in this game, I got stuck on this level for ages because I just could not figure out where I had to go. So we just quickly run back up here, fly on through again. With a bit more success, hopefully. Come up this way. If you glide around and just keep turning, you should mess it up like that. If you uh, bounce off the wall, like I did. Oh dear. Of all things, this is where I start messing up. You'd think it'd be when I tried to do another flight level. Alright, third time lucky. Get your fingers crossed, guys. Alright, so back up here. Randomly full. Try again. Perfect. And here we can rescue Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. <laughs> I like that guy. Things of his stomach. But he had the key we needed. Now, what's the quickest way back? I'm going to have to go the other way. So we'll use this path just to jump on over here. Run all the way back. Jump up this building yet again. Glide on back over to the chest. And hopefully, these are the last few gems I need. Yep. So instead of running back to the portal, we're just going to exit the level. I think we've run around this level many enough times. That I can just exit the level and skip going back to the home portal. Right, so Dry Canyon is now complete. So, next level on our list is over here, Clifftown. One of my favourite levels, I'm not even quite sure why, I just like this level. I think it comes down to one of the glides you can do, it's just a really cool glide. No, I've messed that up. Okay. Yeah, some gems around there. I'm trying to remember the best way to them. Is it this way? No. Okay, we'll just come back and get them later. Annoying, but... There you go. Just way the cookie crumbles sometimes. You flame the uh, big saucepans, they'll drop, spit out a gem for you. Apparently these enemies like to not only be made out of gems, but to eat gems as well. Because I suppose, what else is a gem going to eat? There's another thief around somewhere, I can hear him. There you are. Gotcha! Right, we passed the dragon. Let's go and rescue Halvor. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. 
Just a reminder in case you've forgotten. Not quite sure why you would, but of course this was a game aimed at uh, a younger generation. I suppose when I was younger and first playing this game, it probably helped me out. Right, so there's actually a lot of rooftop areas that we can get to. But I don't think, I think we need to be higher up first. So we're just going to climb up this building. Oh, you slapped me. Twice. You rude person. Get out of the way. I feel like I'm missing something. Well, I've still got a lot to get. Ah, I know what I have missed. Ah, I can't reach it. Okay, well, that sucks. I've got to climb the building again. Oh, is the... No. Once you've been up to the top of the building, a windmill will actually appear here. That will just take you straight back up to the top. Let's pick, pick up the gem sparks. There you go. Alright, looks like we're climbing back up. Or is it here? No. Okay. Back up we go. Ah, oh, I got you both. rescue that dragon in a second. I just want to run up here to the home portal and just get these few gems. And then we shall head on over here, bunt to that wall, and then rescue Enzo. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? Now that's the glide that I like. However, before we do that, I want to nip on over here and just get these few ones whilst I'm on this side. I missed some gems over there. Didn't even know that. I missed one over here. That is not like me. Right, now this time, when I jump, well, run over this way, Am I really wrong? No, there it is. One windmill up. Let's just collect these gems. Whoops. Right, now that's taken care of. Bunts the wall again. But yes, this is the glide I like. You just. It's a very long glide. You're flying over half the level as it is. It's just it's really cool. And just because of that, I like this uh, world. Pick up the gem spark. Sparks, even. I was charging. I should have hit you and killed you. I missed. Let's quickly get these. Get you. And then we shall come over here and we shall fall off. It's very important that you do that. <laughs> Little things that used to amuse me as a child. Alright, now we're going to go up here again and rescue Marco. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. 
if I were you, I'd use that whirlwind there. Now we've rescued Marco, there's actually a windmill that will take us straight up to this uh, highest point in Cliff Town because we are going to have to come back up here a few times. Especially when I mess up a jump. Which apparently seems to be the theme of this Let's Play. God damn it. Alright, let's take the easy route. Grab these few here. Oh, I've messed up. Try to remember how I meant to glide behind that building that I tried to get to at the start level. And of course, logic just says just get closer first. Alright, there we go. Hopefully the last few gems are here. How are we looking? I'm missing 10. Um, why the bloody hell are they then? Ah, I just saw them glisten. Ah, oh, of course, you've got you two are hidden behind there. All right. Now that should be level 100%. There you go. And we'll just head on back to Peacekeepers. Alright, so the next level we're going to head over to is the one down here called... Why do I keep bouncing off a portal? It makes no logical sense. Anyway, we're going to Ice Cavern. How do you bounce off a portal? It's like bunting yourself on an open door. And here we can rescue Ulrich. I just said Ulfric. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me, before charging those large enemies. Just a reminder from the game that big enemies can't be charged. Again, not one you should really need, but I'll say just wanted to make sure that you weren't struggling too much. I always thought it was really cool that you had uh, different enemy types as well. You know, some that you had to flame, some that you had to charge. And then they kind of mix it up. They take a small one, but put... No, they take a big one that you have to flame, but put metal armor on them in some way. So you have to use your head on how to defeat them. Give me that gem. This is another level where there's a few different paths you gotta take to collect everything. And there is the locked chest of the level. But we do not have a key for it yet. But we are just gonna quickly uh, grab all these gems. I believe the key is the one down here. There you go. So we're just gonna pick this up now. Probably should have waited. But, uh, oh well. Someone tried to throw a snowball at me. How rude. Oh god, controls don't mess me up now. There's the uh, home portal, and we'll just quickly rescue Asher. Thank you for releasing me. Why is it every time I've got one that says thank you for releasing me? It's kind of like an oldish guy voice. No. 
We head on over here. There's some gems and there's a few health chests, uh, life chests up there. To this day, I still don't know how to get them. Not even, not even kidding. I have no idea. Get a few more uh, gems there. So, big guys in metal armor. We're in an ice cavern. Metal slides on ice. Don't know why I tried flaming you. Just get you out my way. And also here you can see that there are some gems atop of the post. Charge the post, gem falls down. Just obviously be careful because they put them right next to the edge and if you miss or just angle it just wrong you're obviously going to just fall off and pretty much instant death hello there goodbye I always find it quite amusing just pushing them off make sure we've not missed anything and rescue Ragnar you've done well Spyro some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? <laughs> well, bless Spyro and his, uh, youngness. Alright. So I think the only area we've got to pretty much do is go back towards where that locked chest was. There was a dragon and a few gems that we missed along the way. I believe we can head on back that way through here and rescue Andor. Thank you for releasing me. <sighs> so many boring dragons. That'll get very common later on. I missed. I missed again. There we go. A few more gems there. Another little ice cavern area. I say that, the old whole level is ice cavern. Whoops, it's not what I was trying to do. I believe this dragon here is actually the one that's meant to tell us that uh, metal will slip on our uh, ice. I believe. We've rescued Todor. Psst. Spyro. Some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. There you go. Once again, some gems on some posts. These always make me very nervous. Alright, hopefully there's 30 gems in that chest, otherwise I am missing a bunch. Please let there be 30. I believe we may be good. We are good, and I'll tell you what, let's just quickly check, yep, let's exit the level. Returning home once again. So we've now collected 2,400 of the 14,000 gems. Not a bad start. I say we've got time for one more level. And again, there's only two left. Oops! I don't believe I messed that jump up. And it's put me all the way back at the beginning of the level. Yeah, I think we'll just go for a longer episode and just finish up Peacekeepers now. We've only got a flight level and the boss level left to do. 
And hopefully the flight level won't take me too long, please. Alright, so entering night flight. Get your fingers crossed for a successful night flight. We'll go after the chests next, as these just seem to be next in order. Then it'll be arcs, followed by lighthouses, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Please be a lighthouse right here. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, missed. Crap. Oh, I'm cutting it fine. Oh, 0 0.2 seconds left. But we got it first try. No, please do not try again. Man, that was lucky. Whew. 0.2 seconds left. Just make sure I did complete that level. Yep. Right, so that just leaves the boss fight, which is over here. Dr. Shemp. Rather annoying boss, actually. Not in the sense of hard to beat, just he's an annoying character. Actually, this level is also annoying because the amount of times that I have been slapped off the edge. Apparently, I can't make that jump. By one of these, they'll slap me and I'll just go flying straight off the edge. With no chance of saving it. It's just annoying as hell. Sparks, pick up the gems. What is my camera angle doing? There we go. Oh, I... Th Whoa! Where did you come from? Yeah, some of them will come charging at you, but they do actually run straight off the edge and just kill themselves, basically. Alright, watch out for this one. She's a bit sneaky. Can't believe there's one around here. No, it doesn't seem to be. But there is a windmill. Now, there's where we want to go. One lone 25 gem by itself. And then we've also got a key over here. I can't remember if I need to actually go flying over to where that other enemy is, or whether it's actually meant to just loop around from another part of the level. Well, we're just going to fly on over anyway. Oh, I've missed a gem. Check it out. Yeah, I believe I can get here from another part of the level. But still, this is done now. Now let's go get that gem. Glad I spotted that. Otherwise, we've beaten the level and wondered where the hell that gem was. Right, now let's rescue the dragon level, Trondo. Thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. And there's your hint for the level. Well, for this boss fight. Like other big enemies with metal armor on, his back is exposed. Apparently they're not smart enough to think that through. Just make sure there's no gems hidden around for me to miss. Alright. Come on then, Dr. Shemp. There you go. Wait for him to turn his back on you. 
and just give him a toast up the behind. And he'll hop over onto the next platform. <laughs> Immediately turn his back. Hop on over to the next one. For the final showdown. And down goes Dr. Shemp. Alright. Oh no! I didn't tell you to glide. Why did you glide? Well, this is still dead. All I wanted to do was check for some gems. Whoa, okay, that served me right. See, it's not the enemies that get you. It's the world or the controls. Or just being very bad at the game. Fair enough. I'll admit that there's no gems or something. And down here, we've got the chest. And hopefully the last gem. Now, hang on. It's the best way to get back. Do you know what? I have 100% level. We're just going to exit. Right, but that does conclude Peacekeepers. We are completely done here and ready to move on to the next world. Right, so the balloonist is over here. Hello there. Whoa, come back. Hello, Gosnold. Can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. I'm aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Go to the Magic Crafters. Right, two worlds done. Four to go. But that is all I have time for this episode. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time on Spyro the Dragon.